Today I'd like to speak to you about automotive photography. I've been involved in the car business for over 20 years. It seems forever. Recently I started shooting motorsports for Rolex. I just came back from the Rolex 24 at Daytona and I'd like to compare the two approaches. It is striking. So let's start with advertising. Once you get the project award, awarded, then we start with meetings with the agency. Either it's in town or if they're out of town, multiple conference calls, back and forth with the art director, we discuss and then the, the scouting starts. Once we've got our location, is to organize the permits, cops, um, equipment, uh, motorhome, drivers, um, if we need water truck, rigs, so all, all this gets set. At the shoot day, we actually spend a lot of time in getting these details. So for that, we take the shot over and over and over, but we're always looking for that special moment. In, the, in some cases, we actually take multiple shots and stitch them together for the desired effect. And here are some samples of that. At the racetrack, it's totally different. You know, in advertising, we work very hard to create speed. Everything has to be made. In the racetrack, uh, on the racetrack, none of this. It is all around me. The difference is, it happens in a fraction of a second. So you better be there with the camera ready when it happens, because it may not happen again. And this is the challenge is to be ready to have it when it happens. You blink, you missed it. But you know what, at the end of the day, the satisfaction 